What's up guys, Rich here with Christopher Ward's C60 Sapphire in black. And it's in 40 millimeters, 47.46 lug to lug. It's 12.95 millimeters tall. And it uses a 20 millimeter bracelet or strap width. So the C60 Sapphire is the follow up to the previous C60 model, except for the biggest difference being this smoked semi-transparent front crystal. And I think it's tastefully done with just the right amount of restraint. And in fact, when we look at it from afar, we can't really tell that it's a semi-transparent crystal until we get it closer. So, you know, I like that mystery uh, with with the smoked look here. I think I, I, I think it's, it's really, it's rather unique. And according to Christopher Ward, the smoked sapphire crystal is achieved by exposure to silver and carbon graphite vapor in a vacuum sealed chamber really really nicely done and on the back it also has the matching smoked sapphire crystal so while this is in black they also have it available in orange and blue and if we get the orange we'll have the matching orange front and crystal on the back and if we get it in blue we have the matching blue crystal on the front and black i was actually leaning towards orange but i chose this black because i really like the touches of those red accents above each of the markers and on the tip of the second hand and part of the dial. I think it comes together really, really nicely, really well. While the Salita 200 is a good movement, it's not the prettiest movement to admire, especially on the front crystal as we gaze at the dial or just to check the time. So I think the smoked look conceals just enough, yet reveals just enough. Though, though they, although they do call this black, I would actually not refer to it as black. I would call it smoked or a charcoal look, but again, uh, it comes together really nicely. So what we're seeing on through this uh, crystal here is the Sleeta Automatic 200 movement. We see part of the movement and that date wheel connecting in between each of the markers and then landing in the date window at three o'clock. Uh, it has applied markers. The markers and the, hand, and the hands are loomed with Super Luminova X1 GLC1. Tasteful, really, really tastefully done. Just a really sharp look here. It does have a screw down crown. It is water resistant to 600 meters. And the case is also really nicely finished. This is what they call their light catcher case because of the alternating brushed and polished looks with the idea being that uh, in different lighting conditions, we'll see a really nice um, bouncing off, bouncing of the light off this. And I, and, I, and I can agree with that. I think in different lighting conditions, I've seen the case just really, really pop, pop really nicely. And the power reserve is 38 hours. It also has their signature trident counterbalance on a second hand. Let's check out the turn action of the bezel. It is taut in terms of not a lot of back play here, but it doesn't have quite the resistance of other dive watches if, if, if that's your thing. And I'm not a serious diver, so this is, this is more than fine for me because it doesn't have that, that wiggle there. So just a, a really sharp look. The bracelet is nice. If there's one area that I would, wouldn't mind some improvement is, is on when we change the links because these are push pins. Not my favorite type of links to adjust, but still it is a nicely finished uh, bracelet here, which matches the case nicely and it is quite comfortable. And here's their clasp with their logo. There's a better look of the movement there with their, with their custom rotor. So I'm gonna set the watch down for a moment because if we don't own a Christopher Ward, I wanted to share its presentation because it's one of the nicer ones. So this is in, this part of it is real wood and this is some kind of a corrugated material, but this is, this is the sleeve where the watch would go in and these are the instructions and the cleaning cloth uh, that comes, comes with it. So if we're short uh, in room on, uh, with our watch winder or a watch box. I think this is a really nice clean look that will look uh, quite nice on our desk. The retail price of the C60 Sapphire as this is on the bracelet is $1,070 or $950 on either a rubber strap or, or a nylon strap. So I think at that price point with a rather unique look and a nice universal size of 40 millimeters, I think the C60 Sapphire is a really nice option for us. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you the next time.